what's up guys and welcome back in a more bleach on the channel uh so before we start today i have a problem with sitting because this little girl decided to record with me like literally she's just like uh i wanna be on your knees i wanna be on your knees like literally there's no way i could take her down and she just are not giving me a rest like she need to be there today so well we have a special guest on the episode whatever she's weird today when i've been editing the pe previous bleach episode she was like bitch i need to watch what you're doing and you can even see it on uh, my instagram so if you didn't check it yet then go and do it <laughs> it's weird honestly anyway as you can guess i'm recording this episode just if I don't know one hour after recording the previous one so well <laughs> but i saw some of your comments so it's not like i don't know anything so before we start i want to say one thing that i've been talking with uh, one of you about what if Ishida would be fighting with Mayuri before meeting Ichigo, but with the same power level. And I basically told you what I'm thinking about it, so because I know not everybody is reading the comments, I just want to tell you this here. Um, so basically, I feel like, sure, if... Um, Ishida will be fighting with Mayuri with the same power level as he got right now. He would probably kill Mayuri because he wouldn't care about him like um, I will kill you and I don't give a shit what will happen. Um, but, and that's what you think, and I feel the same, but I actually think that if he would be fighting with Mayuri without meeting Ichigo, he would lose that fight. Even though, we remember, we are talking about the same strength level as he got now. I still feel like he could have lost the fight just because his strength level, he actually didn't get a lot stronger after meeting Ichigo. He just, okay, he just uh, start using the glow and that's the only thing that actually changed. So I feel like the most important thing of his actual beating, being a more powerful thing is because he met Ichigo. Like, he's mentally changed. He's, uh, thinking about different things, he's got different priorities and different will of fight than he got before he met Ichigo. Like, like you know, before he met him, he was fighting more for himself, for his revenge, and he was kind of like, okay, I will kill that hole because that's what I had to do and because Shinigami is not doing it properly, but I don't give a shit about anything. While after meeting Ichigo, he actually got that uh, will of fighting. Like, um, for example, if he wouldn't, if he would fight without meeting Ichigo, he would be like, what, when he would be starting, I don't know, losing the fight, he would be just like, okay, I'm losing. Okay, like. He still would be thinking about his revenge, but he wouldn't be probably that motivated as he is right now. He right now is like, fuck, I'm losing, I need to win this. And not just only because, okay, that just because they didn't show us that thing doesn't mean that he didn't think of it. Like when he was losing, he wasn't only thinking about his... Uh, revenge he was also and i'm 100 percent sure of it even though they didn't show it to us i still feel like that's how it was 
when he was uh, losing, he was probably thinking not only about oh my gosh, I will lose, then I will fight. Uh, what? I will lose, then I will die. But he was also thinking about if I will lose, then Orihime will be alone. Nobody will be there to help her. She will be like on her own. If I will lose, I will leave all of them. Plus, I don't want to lose, I don't want to die, because right now I do have a friend, I do have a people uh, for whom I can fight for, who I can protect, who will protect me, who cares about me, who will care if I will die, and that's really important, that they will care if he would die, but also he would care, like, he wouldn't be like, I don't want to die because I don't want to stop my relations with them. Like, you know what I mean. Um, so just because Ishida didn't say about all of that in that fight doesn't mean he wasn't actually thinking of it. And that's why I'm thinking it's the most, like, important things that change after meeting Ichigo and starting fighting uh, with him. Like, right now, he also know that he need to save Rukia, he need to go there, they got the mission. Without all of that, there is no way that fight would end the same. He would probably be like, okay, I don't care if I will die. I can die right here, right now. I just need my revenge to make, and that's all I care. And right now, there wasn't like that. He was focused on that revenge, but not only, so I just feel like he got way stronger just because he right now got friends, he right now got people who he cares about. And honestly, it's hard for me to explain exactly what I'm thinking. I told you uh, some things I'm thinking about, but some things are like hard to explain by using a words. Um, like, there is just some things that are changing in your mentally powers while you change your priorities. And it's really hard to explain. You just have to understand it and think of it. And there is no way you can describe it by using a word. So I just hope you understand why I'm thinking that without meeting Ichigo, he would just lose that fight, even though he would be on the same strength level. That's all what I wanted to say uh, before we start. But let me know in the comments what you think. We can discuss about it, because discussion is great. Um, okay, so also before we start, just remember that if you like that video, to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget about notification bell. And if you wanted to uh, join on my Discord, where we can also talk. And if you want to do, check my Instagram. Okay, anyway, let's just go straight to the episode. <laughs> Actually, you're not the first one here, but uh, sure. By the way, I'm sorry that I'm stopping it again. Just a few seconds after I start, but... Here we got a perfect example of what I've been just talking about. Because I feel that even if the fight would be end the way he, it ends, still right here, right there, he wouldn't care about anything. He would just die there. Like he would, okay, maybe he would take the potion, but he still wouldn't care about anything anything and right now he's like I can't give up I can't stay here I need to go there I need to save Rukia I need to check if everyone's okay um and you just saw it in a previous episode right when he was the way he is he he's basically starts losing his power and he's not care he's not caring about that the only thing he's care right now is if Orihime is okay and how is everybody else if they are also okay and if maybe she should who what and maybe he should go right now to save Rukia but at the same time maybe no because Ichigo will be pissed and he don't want him to be pissed so you see without all of that he will be just I don't know 
lay somewhere there, sit somewhere there, and just didn't care about anything. He wouldn't be as strong as he is right now just because he's got a will, he's got a purpose. Um, It's really... It's just that friendship would change everything in his strength. Because physical strength is not everything. Like, and I'm really sorry that I'm talking about it more than watching episode, but I really think we need to focus on that. Because I feel like I know what I'm talking about since I've been training Taekwondo for a long, long time. And I know what it means like I exactly know that physical strength is not the only strength you also need that mental strength you also need that motivation and that thing can change everything like I also got that situation when I was for example losing the fight and if I would be fighting just for myself just to win because I want to to win I wouldn't care that much as I did when I was fighting to make uh, my father be proud, to make him happy, and so on. That's That was the thing that motivated me the most and make me, be, make me fight till the end and won the competitions so many times. And here is the same thing. And I'm really, really sorry again that I'm saying about that so much but I feel like just it's really important for all of you to know that if you're training something or anything that physical strength it's not everything there's a lot of different things that is making you stronger not only physical thing. Okay, I'm so I'm so fucking sorry. Okay, let's just go back to the episode, okay? Okay, but I'm really curious who will save him right now because there is no way he will fight again. Okay, exactly. What will happen now? What? Okay, so it What? Ex okay, he just made him slip. Wow! Oh my gosh! And we're back to three days training. Gosh! By the way, in that three days of... What the fuck is that? In that three days of training... What will happen with Chad and Ishida in that term? Okay, so... It, it will make Zanpak to go to their world. That's super cool. Even though... And I will say it again, even, and you know what, actually even the bleach itself is showing what I'm thinking, because, just because, just look at the Kenpachi, he was, oh my gosh, how strange he was, he's like, he is a beast, Ichigo is not as strange as he, as Kenpachi, and we all know that, come on, but since he got that amazing maybe not amazing, but he got at least the relationship with uh, Kenpachi, what? With uh, Zangetsu. Uh, Zangetsu at least appeared, saved him and make him stronger. And in general, Bleach is showing that you need to stay in good um, contacts with your Zanpakutu to be stronger. Like, your own strength is not, is not everything, but you need something more. And the fight between Ichigo and Kenpachi is showing it perfectly. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I won't ask about that, I will do it. Yeah, that's cool. He's not even thinking about not doing it. That's awesome. Ayo Zangetsu! <laughs> Dude! But gosh, Zangetsu is cool. 
he need to find the true Zangetsu? Ooh. Slimy. Oh my gosh. So he basically he need to find the real Zangetsu and then he can beat Zangetsu. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. This is a test like can you recognize me? Are we on that know each other level that you can recognize me? What the? Hey? <laughs> okay, what is wrong with that dude? And <laughs> those gentlemen, oh my gosh. That guy is cool. I mean, he's funny. Chat! Go gosh, chat. My gosh, he's saying so, so fast that I can. And it's... Most of that is a bullshit, like... <laughs> what the heck? He was... Oh my god. I was more than sure that he wasn't using his mouth while saying whatever. Oh no, he is actually... Oh my goodness. What is wrong with him? I feel like Rukia can be in bigger trouble than she is right now, so... Back to Abarai. Gosh, he really does love her. Let me know in the comments if I'm right. Like, it's that... That he really like her and care about her as a friend. Or that he really does love her. Oh my goodness, Abarai! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, Zabimaru, we're going to save Rukia. So basically, Abarai could have run away from this place a long time ago, but he was just recovering there. What is wrong with that guy? Is that a... Gin? Yeah, it's him. I really didn't know what to think about him. He's created as that weird character who might be a weird shit but definitely he can be more crazy than uh mayuri like there is no fucking way he could be more crazy than him so maybe he's just created that way and i don't know it's actually a cool character i have no idea what to think about him really how long it is it's been already. Gosh, Zangets really feel that fight. <laughs> Go back to Orihime. Oh yeah, now will will we know what happened? <laughs> no, no, absolutely no, 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 no. She will help her. He. I mean, what the fuck, she... Actually, I feel like she like Ichigo because he let Kenpachi get that fight he didn't have for a long time. I'm sure she will help. Maybe not, I don't know, Blitch is doing everything weird, so... <laughs> you can't predict what will happen. <laughs> I told you! Ichi... <laughs> She's already saying itchy. Oh gosh. Maki maki. What's happening? Oh, Ikaku. They all like each other. What the fuck is wrong here? They all like Ichigo. What is what's happening in Soul Society? Ooh. Yeah, he can feel his spirit. My gosh, they will all <laughs> help her. <laughs> what the fuck? Why everybody like Ichigo so much? I mean, Kenpachi want to fight with him. That that's all basically. But what is wrong with that anime? They supposed to hate him, want to kill him. While soon it will be like the half of society will actually help Ichigo. What? 
Who the fuck are you? I love Ishida's reaction. Oh, okay, Ganju. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, everything is being more and more weird. Situation has changed. Chat, my love. Oh, yeah, right. Shit, I all again forgot about him. Hey, yo, boys do the same thing that they did in SAO. <laughs> I still can accept that. I hope Ishida won't feel useless right now. <laughs> well, Orihime actually is making her own army right now. <laughs> I love how Chat believe in Ichigo and that he will go and save them. Like, you know, it's obvious that Ichigo will go and save her, but still, it's amazing that Chad is like, we just need to stay there and wait for Ichigo, because he will be there, he will go there. And that's just amazing. <laughs> no. You need to think, Ichigo. You need to think. I'm sure it's not that easy. You need to look for something different, I don't know. Wow, Ichigo, you got a lot of weakness. <laughs> oh, by the way, we still don't know what is in that letter. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, so the fight between Ichigo and Zangetsu. That's really cool and nice, different thing, different fight. Because Ichigo just needs to find between his own weakness that one will to fight the real Zangetsu and beat Zangetsu using Zangetsu that's awesome that's just whoa and I feel like the real Zangetsu is somehow different and he just need to focus and find that or maybe stop thinking and just you know fight I don't know that's like actually if there is so many swords he can, in the worst case scenario, just use every single one of the swords, destroy them, so he will finally find the real one, right? If Even if it's, I don't know, 100 swords, if he will destroy 99 of them, then he will finally find that one uh, true sword, right? So, <laughs> it's also some kind of strategy he just need to do it quick enough because he's got only three days what else can i say oh i think about ishida i already said um about chad and his absolute faith in ichigo that's just amazing and i don't need to say anything else but orihime oh my gosh orihime is literally doing her own army right now she's got like i don't know whole fourth squad on her side she's got ikaku she's got that weird guy who fought against uh ganju she's got kenpachi she's got that girl from kenpachi she is with Kenpachi, she is unfucking beatable because he literally said that he will help her. That is just whoa. I will. I said it and I will say it again. I thought she will be that stupid girl who don't do shit. While if she will do what I think she will do, well, she will save every single person asses because she will just came somewhere with that little army and do her shit that's just whoa anyway guys uh let me know in the comments what you think about all of that and uh remember that if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button don't forget about notification bell and well see you guys in the next episode